uh, just a few minutes past six, so I'm just going to get started. Um, my name is William. I'm one of the uh, Venba organizers, and uh, welcome to the 14th uh, season of Venba. And um, we, uh, what's new this year is we actually live cast um, the presentations, so we'll see how it works. But bear with us if there's any technical difficulty. Uh, and also, your uh, the camera at the back will be working, so most likely it won't capture your face or anything. But if, uh, these mics do work, so it will pick up your questions and so on. So uh, just uh, need to remind everyone that the uh, session is being recorded. And if you're um, evading from the law or anything like that, you might want to uh, sit at the corner or something. <laughs> Um, and also, if this, is, this is our first session. I'm going to introduce the Venba um, Dev Team members uh, very briefly. So we have Amy, uh, Thea, can you wave yourself, uh, Kira, uh, Rona, and Rodrigo, and Pip can, I don't think he's here, and Cedric should be joining us uh, shortly. And um, I will actually pass the uh, Mike, to you. Oh, actually, maybe I'll mention that uh, um, please do go online and check the upcoming talks and commit it to your calendar. These are all confirmed talks, so so they will happen. It's better, best to add it to your calendar as soon as possible. Uh, we have a lot of sponsors, including the uh, CIHR CH, uh, Bonfire Training Program, uh, Mac Workshops. Uh, CDC Foundation, um, uh, PIMS, Genome BC, and uh, new to this year, uh, courtesy of West Grid and Compute Canada and PHSA were able to live cast the session, so great thanks to them as well. Uh, please do follow us on Twitter, and if you have any questions, uh, when you're viewing uh, remotely, given that it's not an interactive session, feel free to ask your question on Twitter and then we'll respond in the, in the session. All right, welcome to Venba. I'll pass the mic to Thea, who will be introducing our um, uh, introductory speaker, and then I'll introduce the main speaker. All right, hi all. We have the pleasure this, uh, this evening of having Saeed Saberi do our introductory talk today. He is a, did his PhD research in Eldon Emberley's lab at SFU and is now a postdoc in Mark Hurst's lab at UBC. Uh, in general, he's interested in the power that high throughput technologies provide to investigate cancer. And today, he will be presenting on chromatin landscape alteration in the rhabdoid tumor. Please welcome Saeed. <laughs> Started my work at uh, Martin's Health Staff two years ago. I'm finishing now, so this is absolutely the right time to uh, have this presentation. And also, my first bioinformatic uh, course was with Fiona, so my, it's my absolute pleasure to actually have this talk now. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, I just want to give you a very small introduction about a rapid tumor. Uh, so, rapid tumor uh, is a pediatric cancer that happens in the kidney and it's very metastatic, and we basically don't have any therapeutics right now for this cancer recently, so the viral rate is zero for this cancer. And uh, the genome of this cancer is defined by deletion or malfunction of smart b one which is part of the cerebrospinal complex. And since uh, most uh, frequently the, uh, the rapid tumor happens in brain, not in the kidney, uh, and with some other reasons, well, I've felt that uh, the origin of the cells that give birth to this cancer is centered on their uh, stem cells. 
And uh, uh, then uh, I should just mention that 20% of all cancers show a mutation in one of the complex members of sleep-snip complex. Uh, so this is the whole sleep-snip complex. There are so many, uh, there are many proteins in the sleep-snip complex, and uh, SMARTB1 is sitting in the in the core uh, spot on this. Uh, uh, complex and uh, it's a catalytic member and basically the role for this uh, complex is to shape the whole landscape of the chromatin. Uh, just to give you a reminder of the chromatin, this is uh, the, the there are hierarchy of events that happening to wrap the whole chromatin inside the nucleus uh, and uh, in the smallest side there is a nuclear zone which, uh, composed, which is composed of four different proteins uh, and they have their own tails and these tails can go under different modifications and these uh, different modifications have different impact on the regula uh, regulation of genes so namely uh, I can just uh, I want to mention that like uh, at the uh, H3 protein at the K27 uh, low side if you modify it by acid splicing you have an enhancing mark it's usually uh, associated with the enhancer sites while H3K4 trimethylation is for active promoters and usually promoters that are transcribed they are uh, harboring a flanking nucleosome region which is uh, shown here and so we have uh, transcription here while on the genes that they are not transcribed these genes are uh, usually uh, the promoter uh, sites are usually marked by H3K27 trimethylation and there is no flanking uh, depleted region of uh, nucleosome. So for uh, so sweep snip complex role is to make, make sure that these uh, uh, depleted regions are intact and basically the genes that are transcribed they have the low side uh, the low side uh, uh, like deep, as a depleted uh, region. For so uh, for this project, we have it's 40 different uh, uh, samples of uh, primary tissues and three different cell, uh, cell lines of rapid tumor, and uh, uh, then uh, we did uh, profiling for whole genome, uh, for the whole genome, uh, and then RNA seq, uh, and uh, also methylation and different uh, histone marks uh, using chip seq data, and. Uh, now surprisingly, we see at the loci of, uh, of SMARTP1 and the chromatin chromosome uh, 22 that, uh, that we see uh, SMARTP1 deletion, and this is the only significant uh, mutation that we see uh, in the rapid tumor. So I just want to focus uh, focus on the one of the uh, alteration in the rapid tumor, which is the alteration in H3K27 methylation. And as you can see, a uh, bunch of uh, different, uh, uh, bunch of different uh, uh, promoter regions are uh, deregulated uh, uh, for the H3K27 transformation. And uh, for uh, for that, uh, the responsible uh, complex for marking these promoters uh, is called PRC2, uh, which is composed of so, uh, different uh, many proteins. And the easiest two is the uh, donovo metatranspirase part of this complex uh, that is responsible for marking and repressing genes uh, through this modification. And hotter is the non-coding RNA, which is responsible for recruiting this uh, complex to different loci on the whole genome side. And uh, so it is thought that the uh, dysregulations of this uh, complex is uh, responsible for the relative tumor malignancy. Uh, and based on this idea, uh, people think that uh, there is a whole company that basically uh, tested the idea that uh, uh, any alteration in surface complex members uh, are basically uh, result in the on balance between the EZH2 and the uh, SNP complex function, and basically by uh, by restoring that balance by inhibiting the EZH2, we can uh, basically uh, go after proliferation uh, effects of EZH2, and uh, then there will not be the cancer malignancy. And uh, then they have tested on different patients right now, and it shows that uh, in many. Uh, 
uh, in many times, actually, we see uh, suppression of tumors after inhibiting ZH2 in these uh, patients. Uh, I just want to show you just a uh, brief results uh, that we find is that actually it's not ZH2 that shows uh, deregulation in this uh, cancer, but uh, in the lens. But actually, it's the hot area has shown to be upregulated in this cancer. And this effect actually correlates with finding of a whole carpet of H3K7 uh, circulation of cancer mark. Uh, just sitting around the hotter and the hot steep uh, cluster uh, on, on the gene. And uh, this fact actually correlates with, the, uh, with our recent finding that uh, after SMART B1 the reinduction into RC cell line, we see that uh, the only uh, member of the PRC2 complex that is showing deregulation is hot air, and the other ones uh, are intact. So I think uh, in the future going to be uh, lots of uh, many interesting uh, results that uh, people are going to find uh, about the uh, ezh 2 and the uh, specific complex um, balance that uh, in the context of cancer. And uh, I hope I have motivated you to read a little bit more. Uh, I just want to thank the people who gave me this opportunity. So Martin Kess and Mark, Dr. Mark and Laura are leading this project and these are my lab members at least. Thank you.